I cannot think of any other sportsman in the world who has gone from the virtual sport, you know, on a screen, to the real thing at such a high level. The idea is a very simple one, is that Le Mans goes on for 24 hours and in that time these guys will race the equivalent of New York to Los Angeles or if you started at Le Mans you finish in Saudi Arabia after 24 hours, it's a long distance. And trying to get your head around exactly how difficult it is, how arduous it is, uh, is pretty tough. So our idea is very simple, it's 24 hours round the UK but doing it in exactly the same uh, method as you would do for Le Mans. So driver changes every couple of hours, refueling the car every couple of hours. He'll be driving within the speed limits and the idea is just to see how tough it is to do it on the on the public road to make sure that he's eating the right things, drinking the right things, refuels at the right time, gets enough sleep. So we've got a nutritionist looking after him, uh, we've got uh, a team manager looking after the timings. So Lucas has teammates with him for this. They will do exactly as one of Lucas's teammates would do at Le Mans, is help him win the race. From a nutritional point view you know you're pushing everything to the, to the limit in terms of concentration and physical performance to some extent so you've got to look at replenishing as you go along each time you come in we have a secret weapon which is Henrietta and she's going to be traveling with the guys on the bus preparing the food making sure that they wake up and uh, they're ready to do their stints it's about 7, 7.15, we're just about to set off um, towards London, so I'm giving three of the drivers their evening meal, which is going to be a balanced meal of um, protein as, as the salmon portion. We've got some mixed vegetables and, and the carbohydrate um, for some plain rice as well, so that's the aim for now. Past five Michelin starred restaurants, but uh, <laughs> I think we've got the best food on the Winnebago. Mm. Mm. in the night will be totally different than what we are doing now in, in the centre of London. To be really fast in, in the night you have to be really focused to, to find uh, a few references around the track and I'm working on that. Uh, every time I'm trying to, to learn more about the track in the simulator in the Gran Turismo which is really helpful. I'm training with, with the team, working with the acquisition data from last year's uh, Le Mans race. When you're tired, it take, take a little bit longer to work things out. And I think if you can finish your stints before you rest, just go through where you're going to be driving, where the stops are. And that way, when you start, you're going to be a bit more prepared and uh, you know a bit more relaxed about what you've got to do. Lulled off the sleep by the sign of a generator droning in the background. Now I'm sipping a, um, a, a caffeine energy drink. I'm about to tuck into delicious apple. Just woke up, uh, I had a good uh, rest in the bed, uh, about three hours, four hours, so not too bad and now I had a good breakfast and feeling good and feeling strong now. and Europe uh, is the same than Le Mans 24 hours. You know, in Le Mans we will be with a helmet, with a proper racing car, with noise and with full, full, full concentration, but it's quite a good, good training for that. 24 hours around UK in, in a Nissan GTR, and now the next one will be the big 24 hours of Le Mans, so looking forward to it. <laughs> 